So the next morning, they began to build a beautiful Snow White designed to Frosty's very own specifications. Kind of round and plump, with the top of a head coming just above here. Everybody had put everything together. They were ready for the finishing touches. There. Her eyes were two beautiful blue beads from Elsie's favorite necklace. They were just plastic, but they sparkled like sapphires. Her cute little nose was a thimble, and her mouth was made from some of Mom's pink yarn. And an old dust mop became a coiffure. That's the hairdo, you know. She's beautiful. What's her name? Cleopatra? Nah. Imintrude? Nah. nah. Minnie Ha Ha? Nah. 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 Cornflakes? Cornflakes. How about Crystal? Yeah. yeah. Crystal. Crystal. That's great. Hello, Crystal. Crystal? Only one thing. She's not all living like I am. Not that it's important, but it's important. Maybe a hat would bring her to life. A lady's hat. <laughs> hey, Yap says we can use hers. There must have been some magic in that pretty hat they found. For when they placed it on her head, nothing. Nothing. Gee, well, it was a nice idea anyway. Yeah, things were pretty sad for Frosty. And to make matters worse, miles and miles away, in another part of winter, Jack Frost <laughs> sat down to rest for a minute, and for the first time, he got a good look at that hat. Hmm. Holy. This isn't the magic hat. This is a horse's hat. Somebody's been horsing around with Jack Frost. Now, who did it? That frosted snowman did it! I'll show them, though, that nobody makes a fool of Jack Frost. When I get through, there'll be no more Frosty the Snowman. 